this is something that comes along every now and then in generation and it's special. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global, making his professional debut, Carol Utelma. I did ask you about your surname off camera. I got it right, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Exactly. Just, just say it the way you see it. Well, <laughs> well listen, everyone um, who's talking about this bill, talking about yourself, uh, has told me that your amateur pedigree is incredible. So just quickly run me through all the achievements uh, you won at amateur level. That might take a while, though, won't it? It's so literally, I started at St Mary's. That's um, where I run everything, all the way from um, the juniors to the youth. Uh, so eight national titles, um, youth, European, silver, and the youth Olympic gold. Okay, well, that's a stellar stack of achievements there. Um, do you feel like there's a bit of extra pressure going into the programme with that pedigree? Do you know what? I don't feel like there is. Um, at the end of the day, I take one step at a time. If I look too far forward, you might trip over. So that's what me and my team are doing, just taking one step at a time. And we've been working, we've been practicing and taking our opponent lightly. Okay. How did you end up here? Like, what got you into the fight game? Where did you grow up, etc.? So um, I grew up in Slovakia, moved here when I was seven, couldn't speak English, nothing. I uh, got chucked, um, I was seven, but I got chucked into a nursery because I couldn't speak anything. Just picked up, learned the language. Um, in year nine, I believe, it was year nine, I joined St Mary's Amateur Boxing Club and the end is history. When you came to, to England, where did you kind of grow up and stay? So um, Chatham Medway, an area that's full of boxing fans and um, that's it, yeah. Okay, so how did you end up from Slovakia to Kent? What made you come here? Um, my, dad, my dad lived in England. We, me and my three brothers, uh, me and my two brothers lived in Slovakia and I feel like there wasn't many opportunities in Slovakia. We were different. Like, we were the only mixed race kids, mm. like, from a different background in the village. Yeah. And in the, when we moved to the city, in the city as well. So my mum moved us to England for better, for better opportunities. Mm. So how was it growing up as someone of colour? Where there was no other people of colour in the country, in Slovakia. How was that? It was hard. Um, obviously, being a young age, you don't really look look at it and realise it. However, when I started to get older, I started realising like okay, people looking at it, people turning it around when I'm walking. Um, it got harder, but obviously now I can go to Slovakia and, and it's all fine. Um, times change, people change, um, but I'm just happy that it's it's, it's better now. Was, it, was there difficult moments as a kid? It was difficult moments because I remember like. Because obviously I went to school there, and whenever when something went wrong in class, I always used to get the blame. I was always one I stuck out. I was always that was different. Um, so it was tough, but everything that you go that you're going through through your past makes you who you are today. So you're a fighter from early. Absolutely. Okay. Well, listen. I I thought you was going to say somewhere in London or, or Kent, something like that, and you you threw Slovakia at me. You threw me off a little bit. Yeah, I'm from Slovakia. Yeah, that's my mum. My mum's Slovakian. My dad's Nigerian. And um, boom. We're in England. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you land on Yard VR for this Saturday night on BT Sport. Everyone tune in and we look forward to hopefully a good night for you on Saturday, a big 2021 and a, a massive career uh, with yourself. And um, we look forward to catching up more, all right, Topman? Absolutely. Thank you for that. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation and it's special. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.